Shami here. I'm here with Wilkins. He's a new patient today. He came in today with an interesting case. Uh, he has chronic neck pain for the last four years yeah. and lower, lower back pain. And he's been going to his doctor. And he can't find a doctor to see him until when? January 14th. January 14th. I had an appointment scheduled October 18th and it was canceled and put for January 14th. Okay. So the rheumatologist. So he's in the system. He's not even to get the care needs. So he looked me up and you're looking for a Y strap. Yeah. So the Y strap is a form of uh, manual decompression. I'm a big believer fan of the ring dinger, yeah. but you want the Y strap. So we'll, we'll do the Y strap and we'll see how you respond with it. So let's see what your range of motion looks like. Bring your head back into extension. I'm going to show you. So you see how the shoulder's being recruited on the right side, look down, look down, and come back to normal, and bring, look, the normal, turn that way, let me see, turn, now turn that way. Okay, so his range of motion is limited, a lot of pain, and you said on a scale from one to 10, you feel about an eight right now. Yes. Okay, so let's go uh, sitting on the table like I, the way I showed you. I'm gonna take this off so that you can, and uh, I'll turn, put your feet that way. Okay, and don't lay down, just sit, I'm just gonna put this, Okay. You go to the back down, I'm sorry. Okay, good. Take your head up again. Alright, good. Put it down. So he was considering going to South Carolina to see Dr. Cipriano, who's a chiropractor that kind of didn't invent this, but he kind of made them famous in YouTube. But you know, if you're watching this in YouTube land, there's a lot of chiropractors in your town that probably do the Y strap. So not saying don't go to him, but you know, look around and find a chiropractor local. You can save a lot of money on gas. Airfare and hotel. Okay, so you watch the videos. You know all about this, right? Yeah. All right, take a nice deep breath in and relax. So what I like to do is I don't like to jump right into it. I like to give it a little bit of wiggle. Good. Relax. Good. And do it again. Good. Breathe in. And let your air out. <sighs> relax this time. What happens? Oh my God, what? I felt that pop, that was really heavy. Heavy, where'd you feel the pop? Oh my God, from my neck to the shoulder area. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. Okay, stay right there. Multiple pops. Okay, multiple pops, okay. Relax, just breathe. Drop his head down, drop this. Yeah. Oh, God. Breathe in. And let it out. Drop his head down, drop. Relax, don't help me, hold on. There we go. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay, sit up straight, I'm not done with you. Stay just like that. So his issue is he's really restricted and he's being in the system, going to different doctors. And what do you say, the doctor didn't believe in chiropractic? Yeah, he doesn't believe in it. All right, well, do you know? He doesn't find a solution in Well, taking medication for this for a young guy of your age is not going to solve the problem either. Three years of medication. So you said an eight. Let's see after one adjustment what the difference is. Breathe in. And let it out and head back, down, head back, down. Good. Up again. Not done. Down, down, down. Got it. Good. Stand up. I'm not done. I just want to see what's different. Turn and fix yeah. the camera. Yeah. What's different here? I can move freely. <laughs> you can move freely? Uh, yeah. Try bringing your head back. Let's see. Remember? See how she's not, yeah. not engaging your shoulders like you was? I don't feel any pull. Anything. Yeah, I don't feel any pull. I just have a little stiffness. A little stiffness? Have a seat right here. Right. So yeah, there's definitely solutions to people's problems other than taking gabapentin, which is a heavy duty medication. Yeah. There's a time and place for that stuff, but you know, not necessary all the time. Drop it. Good. It's gonna mobilize you. Get some relax the shoulder. Oh wow, we got that loose. Land your back flat now. Head, you know, the head is where it was last time. Okay. Good. So you gotta mobilize your spine, put movement in, take pressure off the zerg. <laughs> First adjustment, right? Yeah, I felt you, it from my hip. You felt it from your hip into your knee? Yeah. There we go. Oh. Amazing. Yeah. Flip over. Oh. Maybe like a new man by someone about here. Yeah. <laughs> So if you're watching this video, he was there, he has Medicaid, and Medicaid, you know, his first appointment was January. So you have to suffer all the way till January, only be told you need medication. When you come here, get seen right away, and get treated, and get the results you're looking for. Good. 
Good. All right, stand up now. Almost done. Turn around and face the camera. Don't worry, head up straight. So I want you, after this, I want to see the real number. Don't lie, tell me the truth. You were an eight when you came in. Where do you feel now after this adjustment? Good. All right, take a breath in. What number would you rate your pain today after that one? Zero. I can breathe a lot better now. You can breathe a lot better? Yeah, it's stopping me from breathing a lot. Okay, let's turn around and face the cam this year. So this is why. So I want to ask is when you breathe better, look where the nerves come out. They come out and they go right to your lungs. They go right to your diaphragm and heart. So you have compression on nerves. Your nervous system and the whole system is irritated. So by decompressing and unloading your spine, you'll move better, you'll function better, you'll feel better. I don't feel any anywhere. Pretty happy then? Yeah, not much, much better. Simple. Okay, so eight to zero in one visit. Yeah. See you in the next video.